Sagittarius what is going on my babies it is Mira it is Shira it is Vera it is Scorpion Red Cero and I am back at it again one time for the one time yes indeed to let you all know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of August 2020 show me the Monty energy shout out to all my OG shout out to all my newbies shout out to every last one of you guys who has clicked like shared or subscribed any of my videos thank you guys so much for all the love and support if there's anyone who would like to book a personal and private reading with scorpion red tarot all you need to do is click the about tab send me a message on instagram my um about tab on my youtube page has my pricing list if you guys do not have instagram only thing you need to do is contact me by email at scorpionreds at gmail.com and i will get you all set up at google hangouts which only thing we need to do is is, um, exchange emails and then we can do your video chat for your reading okay which is very very easy and it's a free app okay so um, if you want to reach out for me for a reading again Instagram or email me at, G at scorpionreds at gmail.com if there's anyone who would like to send any type of love and support if these videos resonate and you want to send some type of love and support to the page again thank you guys for all of the amazing decks that we are using today a lot of them were donated um, from you guys from the Amazon wish list so you can check out the Amazon wish list and then there's also cash app and PayPal if you guys want to send a, a you know a dollar or two or whatever um it's a, it's a show of love and I appreciate all of the love and the support that you guys have been sending to me my business and my family during COVID um I appreciate all of the love so big respect to every last one of you guys who've been sending any type of support as you know, we always, you know, give thanks to the creator before we do anything. So let's go ahead and do that. Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Sagittarius. You know, we are so curious, Father God. We are very curious about our blessings um, and moving forward in our life. We just got our magic wand, you know what I'm saying, off of that king and queen of wands energy. And we are just very action oriented. We're determined. We're inspired. We're just very passionate about forward movement and growth and just like setting a new terrain a new playing field father god we are just like building a brand new stage for us to just show our talents and just you know just shine and be a star because that's who we are we're a star so father god thank you so much for pulling us together pulling us away from anything that we don't need to be near and open up the door for us to walk through new passageways of amazing greatness and growth father god give us guidance for Sagittarius for August 2020. Show me the money energy. Thank you so much for all of the blessings and the lessons in the past, present, and future. Let's give us great guidance today so we can carry on. Amen. Amen. All right, you guys. I am going to. I'm going to. Um, tell them I'm recording. Okay. Okay. I am going to just pull you guys' energy out blind today. I'm just going to put it all on the table face down. Give me guidance for Sagittarius. Thank you so much. All right. We got the archetype right there. Yes, ma'am. We're going to go into this energy like this. for Sagittarius for August. Alright, so let's see what we got going on so far. Archetype, we have the sword. Alright, the sword. The sword means like truth. It means boundaries it means separation and it means sparing that's basically what I'm getting it's like um, right now what I'm getting is like possibly sparing somebody some information of truth it's like almost for their own good like only telling people what they need to know setting boundaries using your sword using your knowledge using your integrity using your strength you know what i'm saying because 
number one it takes core courage to wield a sword you know what i'm saying to stand up for yourself to fight for your truth to fight for your honor to fight for the wisdom that you know and you hold to be truthful to you you know um and also like i said with the boundaries thing right there it's like separation and sparing only giving people what they need to know everybody doesn't know all of your moves and everything about you and every step that you need that you're about to take i feel like you guys have learned to have a balance between the day and the night your light and you know your shadow um i feel like you know what triggers certain um you know what triggers you you know what makes you feel high and you know what feels what makes you feel low i feel like right now you guys are at a point where you have a good separation and balance of your your highs and your lows right now and um you're careful about what you're creating the hermit in the reverse so you guys have definitely went through an internal stage of self-discovery um you guys have found your light. You guys have found your voice. You guys have realized that you have a choice in a lot of situations. You don't feel like you need to seclude yourself anymore. I feel like you guys have the sword and you know how to, you know, speak your, your truth and your light and set boundaries and only accept quality into your life. You know, again, like I said, what triggers you to step into your darkness. I, I don't feel like you want to argue, fuss or fight. You don't have to. You guys have come to a place of peace and harmony in your life where you're accepting the growth and the change. And it's like um, other people are not necessarily going to change around you just because you're changing. And I feel like you guys are not. It, it, I feel like you guys went through a point where you kept yourself hidden. You kept yourself secluded from the outside world because you were doing some internal just like um refurbishing you know what i'm saying like you were completely refurbishing your material you were redesigning yourself you were putting your little finished touches on stuff like that um i feel like you don't have to be ashamed of your growth. You don't have to hide your growth. You don't have to hide your truth or anything like that. You are who you are. You're changed now. People are going to have to accept and deal with you the way that you were putting things out. If they can't handle it, they're going to be dealt with the sword. I mean, because your truth is your truth. Your journey is your journey. And I don't feel like you're going to hide your growth and your you, you just live in integrity and you live in a state of honoring yourself and your wisdom i don't feel like you have to hide you don't have to seclude yourself you can come back out into the living and just shine at this point you know what i'm saying it's something about growth and self-knowledge and knowing knowing better um you got the tower in the reverse so the tower in the reverse is basically um understanding that certain things are just naturally going to unravel and break down on their own i don't feel like you have to do a whole bunch of pushing and prodding it was something that you just allowed to break down and fall away naturally on its own you just allowed nature to take its course because you've seen that something did not fit in your life something did not measure up something was eventually going to just fall away to the wayside it was something that was just very very temporary and it's like i'm not going to continue to it's okay so this is like you know the foundation in this building is very fragile you know trying to uh, crawl or, or go up above the fourth step or the fourth level or the fourth floor you know that those steps are weak. You know that people fall. You know that people have died or they've hurt themselves trying to crawl higher. You know something like this building is just not as fragile. It's, it doesn't, it, it can't stand the weight. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I've seen what's happened to people before or I know what's happened to me previously when I tried to go above the fourth floor. So it's like just learning that. Eventually, this whole shit is going to come crawl, you know, fall down. And I don't want to be in this building or anywhere near this building when it actually does. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just going to let this nature take its course. And I'm just going to remove myself to avoid a disaster. It's something about when something 
breaks down and falls away it's like you just want to be able to avoid a disaster and just use your sword and just know how to cut certain energies out so it just it no longer affects you in a way you know what i'm saying allowing yourself to be renewed again and, and not trying to work and keep fixing on something that is beneath you kind of like literally like i said the light and then the shadow it's like I know better. I feel like if somebody went inside and faced some type of inner truth, and it's like, let me stop trying to fix something and stop trying to make something be that it's just not going to be, you know, or something that's going to, this shit is just going to naturally just, you know. And I see this coming. I already see it. What is this? The heart's desire. So if you had the heart's desire come out, it came out in the reverse. Um, I don't really want to take it in a reverse, but it, I want to say that um, you've gone through what you need to go through to see your inner truth, to be able to see in the long run that this is not going to meet my heart's desire. It's going to turn out to be something that I don't want in the long run, and it's better for me to just use my wisdom and look at my past experiences or past experiences of people before me that's tried to do this and see that where that got them and just completely avoid it so it's something about whatever this was that you were trying to defeat that you were trying to conquer that you were trying to um champion or reward yourself with it's knowing how to hold them and no one to fold them you know using that sword cutting something out so that you don't have unnecessary fucked up experiences. You, you you see what I'm saying? Like, I don't even have to go through this. I already see what this is about to come. And it's not meeting my heart's desire. So, using your sword is making you, like, really... It says, the angels are supporting and guiding and protecting you as your dreams become reality. So, mm, so this is something that nature had to take its course in because it was getting in the way of your heart's truest desires it really was and like regardless if you did it on your own or not like the tower was going to come because whatever this was these steps were leading to nowhere it was leading to a cracked and a broken foundation it wasn't leading to where your heart truly wanted to go so that's why it just it, 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 it had to, it had to go it had to leave so that's like someone holding on to something it's like the tighter you holding on to you trying to grip it it's like you're hurt you ever see that meme where it's like you holding on to something so much and you're hurting yourself more by trying to hold on to something and the more you just let it go and release it release you from the pain you know what i'm saying so um the more you try to hold on to whatever that is the more it was blocking you getting on your destination and i feel like right now at this point you went inside and you know that at this point and you don't have any problems how things that just naturally just dissolve For the interruptions so let's see we got the three of swords this is someone at a crossroads which is a decision and it's like it's almost heartbreaking because it's like i'm having to make a decision between two major things in my life that are very important to me and something is going to have to be sacrificed like everyone is not going to win you know and it's like i might even be hurting myself by having to separate myself and trying to finalize where I want to go in the future and what I know is best for me. It's like you are torn in between two things. And it's like, it's, 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 I feel like it's, it's hurting you to almost see something like naturally dissolve. It's like maybe you try to hold on to something as much as you could, but you know, you had to go deep within, deep within your heart. You knew like I'm in this shit alone. And with something about a situation that, even though it may have been some substance there, you still kind of felt 
by yourself in decision making. You felt like it might have been too many. It may have been two or three different major occurrences that might have impacted the way that you thought about something it's something else that is interfering in this you know like I said it's like this could have been something that naturally could have progressed into something amazing but the foundation here it was steps going to nowhere so it's like you know the foundation could have been the third party in the situation. It could have been someone's family. It could have been um, lack of communication. Like you guys not understanding each other. And it's just like it's tearing me apart. Because every time I try to communicate with this person. This person may be bringing up something else. Or I'm having to deal with someone, someone's issues or someone's problems. That is interfering with us being able to communicate. And someone may not want to look at um their fundamental issues and their problems and how it's you know it, it the three of swords can be a lot of a lot of things what is this the king of cups so you guys could be dealing with a cancer pisces or scorpio well king of cups is a very um emotionally generous man like very loving courting um loves kids probably has a lot of kids um I feel like this person has a earthly sense to them as well. They could have a lot of uh, water and earth in their chart. Um, I don't know why I feel like this person um, is on his knee almost. Um, like vowing to go the distance like that's what I'm kind of seeing it's like he has this boat in his cup and it's like he wants something that's long lasting he wants something that's going the distance but what's beneath him the snake is something about this person that even though um this person is very loving to you this person is giving you a lot of things that make you feel emotionally secure something about this individual where it's this says competition, an enemy, clever, malicious. Look over your shoulder, the other woman. Third party. The sword, the tower, the world in the reverse. There is something that life is still teaching this person. Um, they may, well, it's not their may. There's another energy, or um, I want to say just even the energy or entity. And I say entity in the sense that, like, uh, energy in the sense where this person is blocking their own way like this person may just be in love with love I feel like this person is an older individual where they're old enough to know better but this person could easily fall in love this person um, could just be open to giving their heart to many people this person could be a traveler with that boat in the cup you understand um or could be someone of foreign descent they may have a family back home and have a family that they're trying to establish with you or something and you could feel like this is something that i'm trying to avoid like this person comes from a long way and has to travel back and forth again maybe in between worlds you know like it's still something that this person hasn't closed hasn't finished hasn't released hasn't avoided hasn't you know restructured in their life where that is a past existence and we're going into something new do you understand so in regards to this male energy here um someone is using the sword they have knowledge they know the truth they're standing on their morals and their dignity and they have a certain standard and they're going to have to separate themselves because it may be a situation where maybe to feed their shadow you know 
they would still entertain this person because this person is loving. This person does seem mature and everything. And they may be telling you every single thing that you want to hear because this person is chivalrous. This person is just like all of that. Give you all that love and everything. But still, it's something about this snake in this world being in the reverse here is something that is not finished in this gentleman's life that he cannot provide or give something to you in the way that you deserve and the foundation isn't sturdy and you feel like it's a staircase leading to absolutely nowhere and it's not feeding my heart's desires that's why that came out in the reverse and that's why it's like boundaries so it's like to feed my light i know eternally when i'm in this situation because this person has unfinished business i i feel left in the shadows and I feel by myself. And I'm going to be by myself. I need to sit in within my skin and really figure out what is really happiness to me. Because with this coming out in the reverse, if this is not happiness to me, the third party, the three of swords, there's an interference. There's something mentally that is tearing you apart that is hurting you about this person's lack of foundation. And you guys not being able to start a new chapter because there's a snake here in its premises. But this relationship is very passionate. I told you this is the King of Cups. King of Cups are very passionate. They're very loving. You know, all of that. And I believe with the, this person's age, it's like you would think that, you know, this person would be able to handle and be able to close this chapter. But it's something about this person that they're not. And that's why on this side... You see it's on the shadow side and on this side is the light side. This person going within and recognizing and facing the truth. You know, because it's stabbing you in the heart. It's what you're feeling, you know. So, let's go here. The strep card, major corner. Again, like I said, this person is like... I don't have to hide. I don't have to um, resist saying what I need to say. I feel like it's so important for me to say what I need to say and set a boundary and let this person know me continuing to engage with you in any type of way when you have unfinished business that you need to attend to an unsturdy foundation. That would be me feeding, you know, my shadows. That would be feeding my low level ego right here. Up here, baby, on this side of the fence, I'm gonna acknowledge how I'm feeling to empower me and give me strength. And I'm I'm not I'm not going to hold myself back anymore. I, I know what I want, I know what I desire, I know what I need. I know not to feed my lower ego with this shit anymore. I know to stand in my truth and have strength. The palm tree. The palm tree says stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, flexibility. Okay, this person is having strength in the shade. I feel like this person is taking a break. And just really, this King of Cups, this water sign individual is this person's weakness. Do you understand? And they know it's a road leading to nowhere. I think that this person is very much so aware of this energy, but... At the same time, very much so aware of the passionate thing that's going on here. But this person has to, I don't want to say sever the head of the snake, but like, you know, like really has to get rid of the, the snake. And this person is not doing that. That's why this person said I need to relax and retreat and be able to control myself and not feed my ego and my desires yes it feels good yes every time i'm around this person this person tells me sweet nothings and gives me what i want to hear but deep down i know my truth i know the truth i know what i mm -mm, i know something about separation seclusion and walking away and giving yourself a chance to actually be happy and walk towards what you really really want because it's like this ain't it. What is it? The mirror looking at your reflection, like going in, like.
being reflective. It says mirroring each other. Self-image. Relationship reflects our wounds. Introspecting. Self-image. You're looking at yourself. It's something about this person that is a reflection of your shadow. And that's why it's, it's hard for you to kind of conquer it. And, and, and you know that. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like you, you're having to face yourself when you face this energy and have to conquer your urge and controlling your urge to want to entertain and believe I'm saying the lies because on this side is the darkness, it's the shadow. You know what I'm saying? All because it's covered in passion. That's just like I hate raisins, right? So like my family used to trick me with chocolate covered raisins and shit. And I love chocolate though, like on everything. Oh my God, I love chocolate. But since you're not about to keep trying, don't be trying to slip me no chocolate covered raisins just because it's laced and it's covered with chocolate it's nasty as fuck like i do not like raisins slim i'm trying to tell you so it's like someone is trying to give you chocolate covered raisins like i want you but i don't want this situation you see what i'm saying you're gonna have to come at me a little bit better you know and it's something about it could be father issues because still the king of cups could be an elder person, an elderly person. It could be this person mirrors like the lack of father or male energy in your life or something, you know. And it's like this person could be looking at this, you know. This person is a reflection and this relationship is a reflection of what I grew up in my household or something like that or, you know. Why me and my why my parents are not together or something like that. And it's like I don't want that to be reflective in my life, you know. Relationships reflect our wounds. So this relationship reflects your childhood wounds from unfortunately what your parents created around you as a child. And sometimes we don't realize that we re repeat the same footsteps as what we've seen go on before us but we have to have strength and use the sword and just be like well hold on that was their journey that's not mine let me go within because i'm not i'm not mm -mm. everyone has the same 24 hours everyone you gotta go within yourself and say if i'm truly not happy listen if i'm truly not happy and all of this shit is going on and i'm hurting what am I going to do to stop it? I've seen people before me sit there and literally live years, years, years and die unhappy and in relationships where they were being cheated on, mistreated, or they were being dealt with less than their worth in business engagements. They weren't recognized in work. They were being overshadowed, overlooked, and disrespected, and they went to the grave like that. And I refuse for that to be me. I got to learn from the people before me, not repeat the same steps to nowhere. And that's me using the sword with integrity, with truth, with guidance, with all of that stuff like that. Recognizing your shadow and having a balance of it. Like, yes, you know what I'm saying? If I'm in the right relationship, yeah, I listen, yeah, uh, I, you can get all the little uh, freaky deesky, little scandalous. Uh, okay, you can get all of that. Okay. But it got to be for the right situation and the right, you know what I'm saying? It can't be. No. No. I have to be strong enough to realize that this is not the reflection that I want. I don't recognize me. This is not happiness to me. It's not my heart desire. That's why that came out. You want stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, flexibility. You're learning how to be flexible right now. And... Do something a little different than what you would have normally did. Because typically, maybe you would have stayed. Maybe you would have given. Because on the flip side of the strength, it's like you giving into temptation, giving into weakness. You know? So let's get right here. This is the Ten of Swords in the reverse. So this is basically someone that realized, like, the worst is over. Like, I've been through a lot during this phase in my life. And um, standing up and... Taking the swords out of my back. This is someone that could have did something or a situation that was overkilled or was 
long overdue like you been should have ended it you been should have learned the lesson you been should have walked away you been should have you know what i'm saying and it's like i had to take time and learn the hard way but i'm gonna tell you one thing i learned a very valuable lesson no matter how hard it was but i know that that's the past and only thing that's ahead of me is my future and i'm gonna get up off of this ground and i'm safe and sound where i'm at i've learned everything that I needed to and sometimes using the sword and looking at the truth and recognizing the truth and stating the truth and living in your truth and conquering your shadow and learning how to balance that with your life so that you can make the right decisions in your life sometimes that is the biggest test of anything you know no matter how much you fight for something, if something just is naturally not meant for you, no matter how hard you hold on to it, you're only hurting yourself and you're leading yourself to a stairwell to nowhere. And like I said in this reading, if you can't even, did this is a 34 building. The foundation ain't even stable for four. So that's just like y'all y'all only were like able to like last four years or four weeks or four days before shit just like naturally just it's just listen. Let this person go and let this person go and figure out and get their life in perspective. Period. Because this person still has lessons to learn and still allowing people to attach themselves to them. So allow them to be attached and you free yourself and do exactly what you're doing. You show strength. Because sometimes being strong enough to realize, listen, it's better for me to avoid a disaster before something fall in my face and on my lap. i rather just... Avoid the shit. Passion was good. But I enjoy my reflection better when I'm stable, when I'm secure, when I know my worth and I'm focused on me and I'm not allowing something to continue to hurt me because this is hurting me. This is hurting me. You feel me? So... I want you guys to continue to be on your ball shit. Don't be scared to use your sword. Period. Point blank. Period. Focus on your heart's desire. You deserve it and you're fucking worth it. Sagittarius, why are you so curious? Listen, she, Sagittarius is like, listen, I know it's something out there. And I know it's something for me. And one thing about a Sagittarius, and that's why I say Sagittarius, why are you so curious? Is because... It's like y'all drive. Y'all don't let nothing stop you. You know what I'm saying? Like you might be down for a minute. But y'all are very innovative. Magical and creative people. You going to refocus your drive into something new. And you going to get your passion growing again. And you going to be bigger and better than you ever were. Ever were. Your mind is constantly going. And you always curious about what the world has to offer you so don't let nothing stop you if it hurts you recognize that it hurts and go find you something that make you feel good so i love you thank you so much for watching this video click this like button if you want to reach out to me for a reading you know what to do click the about tab peace